today I'm here with the creator of Litecoin. Welcome, Charlie. Thanks. I think the, the most innovative part about Satoshi's white paper is creating a censorship resistant uh, money. So a digital version of uh, money. Because that's something that was never previously possible. We've had like uh, tokens, World of Warcraft tokens, or ego, it's something that's, they're all like centralized. So the, the beauty of the white paper is it introduced a way to make it a decentralized version where it's censorship resistant. So I always saw Bitcoin as like a better form of gold. So gold was used as money um, thousands of years ago. I saw Bitcoin as a digital as digital gold, right? It's just as good as gold. It's better than gold in various aspects. The only difference is it's not physical. With Litecoin, I wanted to create um, like a digital silver, so silver to Bitcoin's gold, and that's why I set out to do. No, I mean I'm still working on Litecoin full time. Well, I guess it's not obvious to a lot of people, but when I sold my Litecoin. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if, it, if the price was going to keep going up or if the price is going down. I want it so that uh, my work on Litecoin is not because of just caring about the price. Mm -hmm. Like I care about the Litecoin network, about adoption. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to make a decision that is good for the price but not good for the long term future of Litecoin. Last year, the key thing was to get SegWit activated on Litecoin and then Bitcoin. So we've successfully done that. And now that SegWit is on both Bitcoin and Litecoin, mm -hmm. people are working on Lightning Network, which is uh, making good progress. Mm -hmm. So Lightning Network is in beta right now. People are testing it out. It's uh, really helping Bitcoin and Litecoin scale. Mm -hmm. So I'm very optimistic um, and excited about that. In the future, um, there'll be other things that will potentially add to Litecoin before, before it gets on Bitcoin. Potentially things like confidential transactions. That could be a, uh, controversial uh, feature. People are still working on it. Still, the the transaction size is still is still uh, big. So uh, we still need to make it more efficient and more more compact. But we're getting there. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of smart people working on it. So I would give it like um, my estimate is like in a year or less. We'll see it uh, really be practical. No, I, d I don't agree. I mean, on-chain transactions will still be quicker and cheaper on Litecoin. It will still be a more convenient way to get onto the Lightning Network. So if you think of like a Lightning Network as like a, like a highway, right? So Litecoin, getting onto that Lightning Network will be easier, will be cheaper and faster uh, to use Litecoin, to use open a chain, to close the chain. Uh, and once you're on the Lightning Network, you can easily convert between Litecoin and Bitcoin via uh, atomic swaps. When that happens, it's, it will be very convenient to still use Litecoin, Lightning Network. Like right now, we already have script ASICs, right? So Litecoin is, um, is resistant to, to ASIC in the sense that it, it delayed the introduction of ASICs. So it helps um, keeping, uh, keeping like, so initially Litecoin was mined on a CPU. And that was important because it, made it so that people who were miners were also the people who were using it. So it was important to have miners that are everyday people can mine Litecoin. And that was the, that was the most important thing about script being memory intensive. Uh, less so about ASIC resistance. Even back then when I created Litecoin, Bitcoin didn't even have ASICs. So ASICs wasn't even on anyone anyone's mind. And right now Litecoin is being mined with ASICs and that's, that's a good thing because it's more secure. So it's harder for someone to attack Litecoin. As you saw with like recently with the news about how easy it is to 51% attack some of the smaller coins, uh, that's not the case with Litecoin because Litecoin is protected by dedicated ASICs. Too many is not a problem. I think the problem is if there's too little, it will be more centralized. So if like three mining pools control the whole network, then if someone attacks the mining pool, they can potentially attack the network. I think that's the that's the concern. It's fairly decentralized, Bitcoin and Litecoin today. There's room for improvement, obviously. It's a much needed thing. Things like Tether has really helped with um, people trading, getting in and out of Bitcoin, Litecoin. If we have a uh, stable fiat-backed cryptocurrency that is backed by the government, 
then that will ensure the stability of the coin uh, to the fiat value. And I think that's going to be very useful. And there will be more people using uh, cryptocurrency in, in Taiwan. Complaints about people spending Bitcoin and Litecoin is that the value is too volatile. Right, and uh, it's cryptocurrency is definitely good, easy to spend, and it's uh, censorship resistant. But because of the volatility of the value, it makes it harder for people to spend it. So having a fiat-backed uh, cryptocurrency is very is very useful. Sure, atomic swap, especially like off-chain atomic swaps, like the ones on Lightning Network, it's very convenient to to exchange uh, cryptocurrency to cryptocurrency. So what's important is easy for merchants to use. So it's hard enough to convince merchants to, to accept a new point payment method. Right? So it's important where um, an easy way where it's integrated with their existing system uh, to kind of drop in a uh, crypto uh, solution where they can easily accept Litecoin, Bitcoin. Uh, I think that's very important for that to, to happen for um, in order for us to get convince more merchants to accept cryptocurrencies directly. Um, I'm definitely very excited about Lightning Network. I think Lightning Network is one of the best solutions to, to help Bitcoin and Litecoin scale. Scaling off-chain is makes a lot of sense to me. And like I said previously, I think uh, confidential transaction is something that really interests me because I think fungibility is something that's uh, really missing from cryptocurrency that separates it from good money from like really great money. That's something I really want to look into adding to Litecoin in the future.